Welcome. This is a demonstration of the most recent integration between UIM provisioning and the latest VCE Vision Intelligent Operations. What the VCE Vision I.O. package does, among other things, is that it contains a compliance engine that will let you compare all of the firmware and all of your components within the UIM vBlock and let you know if any of them are out of compliance. So it will check the firmware on the switches uh, and all the other components and, and let you know if they're in compliance or not. And the most recent improvement to UIM 3.2 as of Service Pack 1 will show you how you can import that information into UIM using the Vision I.O. APIs. So the first step in doing this is basically adding the information so that UIM can go ahead and uh, retrieve the information from the Vision I.O. server, uh, which we assume has already been set up and is talking to the vBlock. So when you go to add a vBlock, whether you add vBlock 700 or 300, either one, when you get the add screen, you'll notice a checkbox in the top corner here. And when you check that checkbox at the bottom of the screen, you'll we'll add some fields where you can type in the Vision host name uh, or the server where the Vision I.O. software instance is running. You can also add credentials for username and password. And then if you also add in the rest of the parameters as you normally would for a discovery of a vBlock within UIM, uh, once you discover, the vBlock will be completely discovered and at the completion of that stage UIM will go ahead and go out and try and find the VCE Vision server and if it succeeds uh, it'll pull in the, uh, the the compliance information and results so that you can display it within UIM's dashboards. So you can add a VCE Vision server when you're first adding a vBlock. You can also take an existing vBlock and if the VCE Vision server hadn't been checked, you can check the box at any time. Uh, so if you have a vBlock in production, you can come in, add the VCE Vision server to it, add in the credentials at the bottom, and then do a rediscovery. The vBlock will rediscover, and at the completion, it'll go out to the Vision I.O. server and retrieve the compliance information for display in here. Likewise, if for any reason you have an existing vBlock and you want to remove the VCE Vision server, you can do that as well. You will get a warning uh, telling you that you're about to uh, lose the information from UIM. This is not, uh, it is destructive within UIM, uh, but if you want to, you can go back and add that VCE Vision server at any given time in the process. So let's get out of here. I don't want to save those changes. I also noticed down here in the details that you will get uh, a status for the VCE Vision connection. Uh, and in this case, it's successful. It says connected and gives you the version number of the VCE Vision server. Uh, if there was a connection issue, if the name or password was invalid or the, the connection wasn't available, you get an error message here giving you more information as to what needed to be fixed. That's how you get the information into UIM. The way you view the information is with a couple of new dashboards that we've added. So the first one is called the Certification Summary Dashboard, which gives you a summary view of the uh, compliance information. So this is for the vBlock Hummer, and this is the given profile. The profile matches what VCE calls an RCM, or Release Compatibility Matrix, uh, and that's sort of like the version number that VCE assigns to a vBlock when it configures it and deploys it for a customer. So if you have a vBlock, uh, it was configured by VCE with a certain uh, profile or RCM number, uh, and you need to select that here in order to get the right tests because each uh, profile or RCM will have different versions of software uh, and the results will be based on which profile you pick. So we have a vBlock here. The, the score of all the tests that ran was 35, which is actually low because this is a lab system. Typically you want that to be up at 100, which would be perfect. And down below you'll see a pie chart that gives you a brief uh, sort of visual read or a heat map read uh, of how many tests have passed and how many failed. So there were 13 tests, four of them have passed here in green, seven of them failed, two of them weren't run, and that's most likely because they weren't appropriate for the kind of vBlock we checked. Uh, so VCE Vision decided not to run those. If you want to see more details about what passed and what failed, you would use this next dashboard called Certification Results. And if you add this dashboard, again you can pick your vBlock uh, and your profile number just like you did before. But now you'll see four or five categories of tests that were run. So all of the tests uh, relevant to the compute section of the vBlock would be listed here and you can tell if they passed or failed. And if something failed, you can click on the fail button 
and you would be able to find out the details of why it failed. In this case, uh, this is a test of the UCS uh, network adapters. And since there's an adapter on every blade, and sometimes two adapters on a blade, you would get separate entries uh, for every single one. And you can see that uh, the top one here, the expected value for the firmware on that network adapter was 2.03a, uh, but the actual value that it found was 1.43l. So either that got down revved, which is unlikely, uh, it's more likely in our lab, uh, that it just hadn't never been upgraded properly. The most common situation will be that the actual value will be higher, indicating someone upgraded a component, uh, and maybe that component is no longer uh, valid with this vBlock. In any event, it's a good tool for support personnel to come in uh, and look at any differences here that might indicate uh, why a customer is having an issue and why they reported an issue. When you click on a test, you'll notice a lot more information that came in about the particular uh, unit that you've selected, and you can find the aliases as well as other information that might be useful. Uh, there's a URL here to try and find more information within their system uh, and other identifying information. Uh, and that's it. So these dashboards provide you the view you need, uh, and if you ever want to update uh, the information, you go back and perform a rediscovery. So if you upgrade the vBlock, uh, or if something has changed, you can go rediscover, it'll update the results, and you can see these here. So that's it. This again is for uh, UIM provisioning version 3.2.1, or also called 3.2 Service Pack 1, and its integration with VCE Vision Intelligent Operations.